Okay, so we're going to be installing a jacuzzi return here on this new liner that we've installed. Unlike with uh, main drains and uh, stair flanges and light flanges, there are no screws that have been left in the, in the fitting here. And the reason why is we don't need them in there because you can feel with your fingers where the holes are. And that's exactly the process here. So we mark off the top of the deck with duct tape so we know exactly where the return is. I can feel it here behind the liner. So all I have to do is with my finger locate one of the holes. There's one right there. Now before you go and jam anything through a, a new vinyl liner, you better be absolutely sure that you have the right location. If you can't feel it because the liner is too cold and it's uh, cold outside, pour some boiling water on it and then it's going to make the liner a lot easier to feel those holes. But it's warm up today so I can feel it. There's one right here. Use an awl or a number one Phillips that's it. That's the screw hole that we're going after. Now because this is a jacuzzi return, we need a gasket on the underside and on the top side. Unlike Hayward's, which only utilize one. Okay, so we have our screw located here. Take out our number one Phillips. Switch to our number three Phillips. Now we don't want to go fully tight yet, we just want to get the thread started so we can still move it. So now I need to locate the second hole, which is right here. Swing the return up into position. Now that we have two screws, I'm not going compression tight yet, but I'm going quite tight because I want this return to now template where the bottom two holes are, which it will do perfectly. One, two. Any time that you're using screwdrivers or knives or anything like that or on a new vinyl liner or any vinyl liner for that matter, you better be very careful with what you're doing. You certainly do not want to put a hole in the wrong spot on a new vinyl liner. Once we have all four of these screws in, just like with uh, tightening down a tire, you want to go ahead and compression tight all of these. Now stainless steel has a low shear strength, so you don't want to just grab this with two hands and twist it till the head pops off, but it does need to be compression tight, so you want it very tight. There we go. Now we've got the return installed using a brand new razor knife so you get a nice clean cut and being very careful not to let your knife jump outside of the return area and cut the liner obviously. There we go. And now I use a little bit of duct tape in here. It helps with uh, getting my suction for the installation so I'll take that out. And that is a jacuzzi return installation.